Hey everyone, welcome back to my let's play of Near Replicant version 35. I hope I haven't repeated that number yet. When we last left off, we, God, I forgot that it was so depressing. We attended the wedding of the King of Facade and our good old, our friend, Fira. And then she got annihilated by a wolf in, our, in front of our very eyes, which was hella depressing and I was not ex I mean I was expecting something to happen but I wasn't expecting her to die right in front of me uh so I was really sad at the end of last video like I like felt my energy like gone like it was so sad and I still think it's interesting how we're having this parallel with like like him our main character the uh, br other brother running the weapon shop, and now the king of someone close to them dying, and them having this intense hatred for his species. Like, it's just weirdly parallel. Like, I I'm guessing it's on purpose, but I don't know what the underlying meaning might be in terms of the game. The message is a pretty clear one, I would think, but like, in reference to what's going on in the game, I'm not sure. Are you ready for battle? Yeah. Yeah. Time to avenge Fira. We're gonna go kill him! Did I say Fira? Fira. Fira. I keep on saying it wrong. Avenge my girl! She's like my favorite. One of my favorite characters. What the hell, man? Madness. The wolves who attacked were only a fraction of the pack. How will you fight them all? Celestai! And count us in. We're not doing it for you, dumbass. No, Kaine, she's like, I'm doing this for Fira, idiot, not you. It's for Fira. Kaine, you can't speak to a king like that. If this is indeed the plan, then let us make haste. We can ill afford another tragedy. One-handed sword, ancient overlord. That just sounds cool. Okay, I'm down. I'll take a weapon. Yay! Ah, oh, now they're gonna make me walk there. Oh. Kaizomu Akura. We're off to wreck some shit. Get out the way. セルガンウツ。と避けた。これで佐藤アルテルはチンクルチュラス。アルテルは あんだ大体リスラ関係かけて
しより歌えあ That was sweet. I guess the king, you know, can't go getting himself killed. No, just kidding. He's here. I thought he was going to stay behind. Oh, don't worry, man. I'm avenging my girl. Forget it. It's for Fira. Yeah. Let's move. Andale. Fight, fight. Fight, fight! I'm ready. Oh, why don't you bring a bitch? Who's gonna call the other? Oh, it is. Oh, I see him coming. Oh, damn. He seeks the king of Hassan. Getting like Lion King vibes from him just chilling up there. Such dogged, unwavering defiance. Why do these beasts hold so much rage? The smaller wolves are not infected with shades. But as for the leader, if even one shed is here, then I have to kill all of them. Where, 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 where? Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, damn. Bring it! Oh. Is it impervious to magic? I can't remember. The king is in danger. No, he's not. The king. That's what Fero would want. Indeed. You must worry about protecting more than yourself in this battle. Ow, ow. really need the close-up but uh oh 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 protect your facade yes Cerberus I knew it okay obtain the loyal Cerberus key fragment yes we protect our desert people I didn't that was kind of sad I feel bad attacking animals like it doesn't sit right with me like ugh, I don't like it I know it was a monster though I believe that young Fira was perfectly content with the life she had. Of course, does this not sound like what she would say to you? She was terribly proud of her king. Now you must do all you can to honor her memory. Ah, Data, Doris, Kyoryu. Kutaitu, Ichiru Life. Kaizama, Chittada, Kete Taiso to Chittaterunda. Is that another infernal rule? Lano Perua, Tonri. 
アルテルは血を割るあんた年年アルテルはやりるロフィア The poor king This is all the shades fault Yeah see yeah you're I feel uneasy when Dark goes like ham like that like it's making me uncomfortable the level to which his hatred is just rapidly spiking that's never good you know what i mean yeah me and vice are on the same page also a side note i wonder if the height at which the graves are placed is sort of related to how like in the city the people of higher stature live like higher up so I wonder if it's like since she wasn't really of high stature, she's like on the ground, but this one's higher up, you know what I mean? And this one's higher yet still. So maybe it was like royalty and someone of like middle class and then like good old Fira. Fira. I keep on wanting to say it like fire. Um, okay, so let me see. Okay. Ooh. Uh la 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 la. We have a lot to do. I guess we're gonna go. Oh, uh, check to see if a letter's arrived. Let's see if the junk heap kid sent us a letter. Yeah, sounds good. All right, let me, uh, la, la, la. I think the, is it over here? Fast travel. I hope you guys are doing well, by the way. Um, thank you so much for your continued support of the series. I have to keep doing this in short videos. Um, but in like four days, I'll be back on my good Wi-Fi. And I'll be back to... Oh, there streaming and releasing other episodes of other games um i managed to get a poison control out but i recorded a persona 5 strikers video and it was like 50 minutes long and i even gave it like 12 hours and it wasn't done so the internet just can't handle it here which kind of sucks but i will be uploading a lot next week because i'm gonna have a stock that i couldn't get up this week so i'll make up for my slacking off this week which was such an unintentional, like, I know it's not my fault, like, the Wi-Fi is just bad where I am. But, um, I want to make up for it, you know, nonetheless. So, I appreciate your patience, and I'm glad I can at least get videos out for this. Because I can make them relatively short, sort of stop wherever I want. And so on and so forth. Mail? You have a letter, it would seem. Uh, Dear Dark Celia, this is to inform you that the upgrade work on your weapon has been completed. The weapon is ready and available for pickup at your earliest convenience. I also have a more personal request to make of you, one I hope we can discuss further once you arrive to pick up the weapon. Yours, Two Brothers Weaponry. Personal request? Hmm. hmm. He's done a lot for us. We should see what he wants. I want you to go into the junk heap and murder every single robot you see. Off to the junk heap, then. I have a feeling that's gonna be the request. Let me make sure. Oop. Okay. Uh, we finished something, right? Not that one. Uh, oh, that's at seafront. Okay. Not that one. Sorry, I forget what we have. Um, I need to get a memory alloy while we're over there. Uh, the parts are built. Return to the village and inform the client of the situation. We'll do that real quick. Life in the sand. Nope. Da, 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 da. Three drops of machine oil. Oh, I need eggplants. Uh, okay, I'll check for eggplants here. And then we gotta turn in the fountain quest. Um, I'm tempted to run the seafront real quick, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm working on that dude's quest. I think the fountain person was pretty nearby. Was it him? They'll deliver the pump as soon as it's ready. Thanks much. Here's a little something, just because I care. Oh, wow. Damn. 20,000 gold is a little something to you, sir? That's a lot of, oh my god, a lot of money to me. I can't talk. Uh, la 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 la. Learning a trade. Okay, yeah, I have that. Uh, let me check the, is this one? Thanks for. Uh, no. Thank uh, it's the carrot one. I know. Th you got any eggplants? Oh, yeah, you do. One, two, three. Nice. Come. Thank you. Okay, great. Let me. Okay, so we have learning a trade to turn in, and oh god, I didn't know I could uh, move between tabs with the analog stick. Uh, life in the sands? Uh, no. Why can I not remember? Oh, eggplant, right. 
Uh, through the map, bring them to the oh strange thing store. Oh god, I don't want to go back. Um, I knew it. This is what I was talking about. All right, here's what we'll do. Let's run to Seafront and turn in that quest, and then I I kind of want to go to the Forest of Myth and do that other quest. But maybe we should go to the junk keep first for fear of breaking something. All right, hi. Oop. Oh there. Can I go to Seafront? Yes. Oh, we could go to the Lost Shrine and get the part of the tree that guy needs. Who was like real shady when he asked about it. We could always do that. I'm trying to finish up some quests as we go along. Someone in the comments did say not to worry too much about missing quests though. Because apparently you need to play through part two a couple times to get all the endings. Uh, so if we miss anything, we could always do it the next time, I guess. Let me save... Oh, wait, hold on. My just-in-case save. This is my new just-in-case save. Okay, so he's over here. Hello, I have your weird aphrodisiac leaf, which the guy thought I was, like, a perv for buying or whatever. I got your mandrake leaf. <laughs> fantastic. Here's the money for the leaf and a little extra for all the travel. Oh, you're making me a little uncomfortable. This is the key to my seasickness medicine. I just know it. Uh-huh. Oh, no. The next morning. I don't want to be here. What? I don't want to... How's the medicine going? Oh, it's, uh... Well, it's interesting. I thought it would help my seasickness. But instead, I made an energizer of sorts. <laughs> and believe me, my wife is thrilled. Oh my god. Uh, I really <laughs> didn't need to know that. Same. Look, I need to try again. Do you mind making another shopping trip for me? Ah. Sure thing. Hopefully we'll have better luck this time. Great. I need some toad oil from Two Brothers Weaponry at the Junk Heap. Apparently, if you purify the stuff, it's good for the nerves. Okay, I need to go there. How could he accidentally make a sexual stimulant instead of a seasickness medication? <laughs> Calm down, Vice. Maybe it just happened. They are completely different drugs with completely different effects. Hey, everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, bro, I don't even want to think about oh, it. Oh, there. Uh, Northern Plains? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> I was like, no one's going to actually mention it, right? And then he's like, grar. And I was like, okay, never mind. That guy is so bizarre. Like, I don't know if I trust him. Like, I keep doing quests for him because I obviously I want to do quests. But, like, he makes me uncomfortable every time I see him. Like, I'm afraid he's going to, like, jit me out of something at some point. Or just continue to make me uncomfortable every time I talk to him. Hello, shady boys. What if the big strong shade appeared right now? Wouldn't that be great? Make my life easier. Bye. Get away from me. Song is a bop. Nope. Just the basic ones. Go, go. I am uh, eager to get back to this game. I've actually been no lifing um, Dragon Age Inquisition. Because since I'm sort of moving to my new apartment, I um, got all my old stuff out of storage. And I found all my PS4 games, of which I have a lot more than I remember. And I was like, did I ever beat Dragon Age Inquisition? I think I beat it on PS3, but I don't know if I beat it on PS4. Because I was like adamant on getting a platinum, which means you have to beat it on the hardest difficulty. And that's not going to happen. Uh, not that I'm bad at it, but it's kind of just like a, a DPS game. Like, you don't really have control over your attacks in a way. Uh, you just kind of hold a button and they continuously attack. Um, but it does have the, uh, hold, or press the right stick to lock on, and then you can shift targets with the right stick. And I was like, oh, this is helping me, you know, get better at my targeting in, uh, this game. So it's probably good that I'm no-lifing it in my free time. Which I only have free time because I'm staying with my brother, so when he's home, I can't record because I'm too loud. Which he didn't say I couldn't, but I don't want to be a bother. So, oh, I meant to save. So I usually just play Dragon Age. 
during the times he's home. And I'm having a blast. I love that game. I really recommend it. Um, I don't know if it's as good as like Origins, but I still enjoy. I've enjoyed all of them so far. I'm excited for the next one. Hey there, your weapon is ready to go. Sorry to ramble about that for like five minutes. Great, thanks. Two-handed sword, iron will. Okay. <clears throat> what do you want me to kill? Just tell me. You know, with a weapon like that. See, I knew it. You were going to say. Who do you want me to murder? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. It's gonna end up being the shade that we need to get the music stopped. They're like, you ready for the crazy man to start talking? That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. A Shade has joined forces with a robot? There's a Shade in there? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided? Hmm? We're gonna kill it. You know, y'all are making me uncomfortable. Welcome. I need a vial of toad oil for some medicine. <laughs> the contrast in these two conversations like, I need you to kill it. Welcome. I need some medicine. Pulling an all-nighter, eh? Well, good luck with that, sir. Ew. Huh? All that shade slaying must be tough. I bet you use this stuff all the time. I have no idea what's happening, but whatever. Let's just get this back to the client. Generally uncomfortable. All right, Toad Oil. So I'm guessing this is going to be the next fragment. The Law of Robotics is what I have in mind. All right, let me save before we get to a point of no return as per the usual. Guess I'm going in here. Whoa. Oh, I should check out the new weapons. I haven't done that yet. Oh my God. Now, where exactly am I going is the question. Back to the second floor, maybe? There was that big circular area where I'm pretty sure the boss fight's going to be. So I guess I'll just make my way back there. And see if we uh, run into it. It's my guess, anyway. Ooh. Tickety clack clack. Um, okay, so let's look at the new weapons really quick. Uh, one handed, we got. La 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 la. Ancient Overlord. Uh, it's way weaker, but I have uploaded, or uploaded, upgraded this once. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's. Plus the magic power of Phoenix Dagger is also very good. I mean, it's it's lighter, but the Phoenix Dagger is pretty fast, honestly. Uh, let me see, Iron Will. We got 389, 30% extra heavy. It's the strongest. Well, no, actually my Vile Axe is better. Yeah, I don't think I'll use that one either. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to off screen, get back to where we were kind of, that big open area, and I'm gonna call an episode here, but I'll meet you guys there. And if anything pops up before then, I'll pause and just start the episode there instead. But thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for all the short episodes. It's just so that I can upload them in like three to four hours and actually get them to you guys at a reasonable pace. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off. Dark out.